Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be talking you through all of my favorites for the month of May, which can we just discuss how slowly that went by? So here are all of the products I've been loving through the month of May, and let's get started. Um, first things first is something that I've had for a while, and when I first purchased it, I used it a lot, and then I kind of put it away, and I didn't use it so much all the time, and that is my Naked 3 palette. Um, I have all of the three original Naked palettes. I don't have the Smoke or... I think that's the only new one, um, but I don't own that one. I do own the Naked Original, Naked 2, and Naked 3, um, and I will say that the Naked 1 and the Naked 3 are the ones that I used the most. I didn't really use the 2 that much. still have my brush in here, um, but the Naked 3 I really loved because it's so different from the Naked 1 and the Naked 2. Um, it's got more mauve shades, etc., throughout um, and that's what I really liked about it. It's unique and it's nothing like the first two but I've been whipping this out a lot recently since it's more springy appropriate I feel but yeah if you've never tried any of the Naked palettes I'd highly suggest them. You get a lot for your money. And then my other favorites have been a new product to me which is the NYX HD Finishing Powder in the shade Bernaner. And ooh, that's really cute, right? And it is a finishing powder, um, but it's so soft and it's mineral based and it blends so nicely. But what I've really been loving it for is I don't use it as a setting powder, I literally just use it underneath of my eyes to set my concealer. And because it's a yellowish kind of shade it really helps to brighten underneath of your eyes and it really sets my concealer my concealer doesn't crease it doesn't start fading um it's last all day long so yeah i got this at ulta and again mine is in the shade banana so really been loving that and i think they had two other shades if i'm not mistaken and then my other favorites are you will have seen this in not my last video but my video before my last one um, and this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation with SPF 15. Um, I have been loving the shiz knit out of this foundation. It comes with this like little pipette dropper sort of thing um, and I just shake it up when I use it, put it on the back of my hand and I've used it with a brush and I've also used it with a wet beauty blender and I do find that using it with a wet beauty blender applies it a lot better I feel um, and it just blends super seamlessly. It looks and feels like skin. Um, it doesn't feel like you're taking on a bunch of foundation which I find is what I really love about it um, and it doesn't fade away throughout the day so I've been loving this and plus it's not um, because it's a water foundation it feels more like you're hydrating your face more than anything not like you're putting foundation on top of dry skin and making your skin feel even drier so yeah highly recommend this especially if you live in warm climates um, and then my other three beauty favorites, um, one is going to be a hair care product and this is new to me, I purchased this off of the Sephora website and it's made by the brand Alterna and this is the Bamboo Smooth Kendi Oil Dry Oil Mist ultimate frizz control for medium hair types. I purchased this off of the Sephora website and it drew my attention mainly because I kind of wanted to try something from Alterna um, and I do like dry oils after I get out of the shower I just spritz it through my hair and it kind of helps to combat with the frizz um, so I've really been liking this but when I purchased it and got it in the mail it smells incredible it smells so good it's not I don't know how to explain it, it kind of smells like argan oil but not entirely and I just love it. It's been helping with the frizz and it's super lightweight. It doesn't make my hair greasy or anything like that. Um, so yeah, I really, really, really have been liking this. And then my last two beauty favorites is going to be, this is something I purchased at the beginning of May. We're in June now, okay. In May. 
And this is a blush because if you've been watching my videos for a little while, you know that that's one of my favorite makeup items to purchase is blushes. Um, and my uh, 2015 favorites, I mentioned a NARS blush by the name of Madly, and that was like my forever favorite blush. Well, I found a new one. I was in Sephora not too long ago, and I was walking past the blushes, the NARS counter blushes, and I found this one, and it's in the shade Impassioned, and it's freaking gorgeous and I have been wearing it pretty much every single day through the month of May and I love it it's like the most beautiful pinky natural -ness ever it's amazing it's my favorite blush like I can sincerely say that it's my most favorite blush I've been using it every single day um, and I didn't think that anything was gonna trump madly but this one did then my last beauty favorite is going to be a lip product and I've heard this product talked about a lot on YouTube and it's the NYX Butter Gloss and mine is in the shade Angel Food Cake um, and I am not a fan of lip glosses at all. This is the only lip gloss I own to date. I don't like lip glosses at all because when I was younger and I started wearing makeup, I wore lipstick or lip gloss and it would, my hair would get stuck in it and it was not flattering and ugh. I don't like the fact that they're sticky, but I thought I'd give this a go because so far everything I've tried from NYX I've liked um, and everybody and their mother talks about this, but I've been loving this. It's the shade that I'm wearing right now on my lips and it's not completely 100% not sticky, but it's not nearly as sticky as most lip glosses. Um, and it does have shine, but not like crazy shine, which I also can't stand. Um, and it's just, it smells amazing, and I love the shade. Um, it's kind of like a, I don't know what you would describe this, like a mauve sort of shade. It's really beautiful. Let's watch it right here for you. It's just kind of perfect like a pinky, nudie sort of shade, and I just love it, and I've been wearing it a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, so that's it for my beauty favorites. My last June favorite is going to be actually a TV show, and I've been watching it nonstop, and it's actually a Netflix original, and it's called uh, Grace and Frankie. Now, I can't really tell you too much about it without completely ruining the show for you, but if you've not seen it, I highly recommend it. I'm a huge Jane Fonda fan. I love her. I think she's hysterical, and for her age, she's freaking stunning. Um, so if you've never seen it before, I highly recommend it. It's a show that I have not been able, I'm like watching it for the second time in a row. There's only two seasons out right now, but yeah, it's hysterical and it just, it's, it's just, it's perfect. It's such a funny, funny, funny TV show. So if you've never, if you've never heard of it or never watched it, I highly recommend watching it. Like I said, it's a Netflix original, so yes. Um, but that's it for my May favorites. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!